Hi everyone, I'm Kodesha, and in this presentation, I'm going to talk about how to restore uh, the LEGO Mindstorms RIS set, or the Robotics Invention System. I'm going to be using the RIS 1.5 set, but this set of instructions can also be used with the RIS 1.0 set, or the 3804 uh, RIS 2.0 set. These are the topics that we're going to talk about. Briefly, we're going to check to see that you have all the parts, and replace the wires if necessary, get a USB IR tower, install Windows XP. If you have a very new computer, you might need to install VirtualBox uh, before you install Windows XP, install the RIS 2.0 software, and have fun. First thing you want to do is you make sure that you have all the parts that you need. So here I have a picture of all the parts can see that uh, they do give you a lot of parts in the old days. Important thing to check is that you have this, uh, the two motors, the brick, all the wires, uh, one uh, color sensor, and uh, two touch sensors. If you find that uh, some of the parts are missing, a very useful source of parts is BrickLink. Uh, you can check out this link. This is the link for the Robotics Invention System 1.5. You can check and see if you have all the parts uh, for the set. One of the common problems uh, from for LEGO sets of this era is the wires tend to rot. This is the wire that I use uh, as a replacement. It's a monster cable wire. It's fairly cheap and it's very long. So you can just cut off bits and it's okay if you make a mistake. There's plenty of wire. Uh, if you made a mistake. Uh, best tutorial that I found online so far, uh, but there may be others on how to replace the rotted wires is here. Uh, this is a video uh, by Technic Robot, if I'm not mistaken. The interesting thing is that all you need to do is pop the connectors, put the wires in and press the connectors together. You don't actually need to solder the wires because uh, there's some metal prongs inside the plugs that will actually punch through the insulation of the wire and uh, touch the electrical part inside. Uh, I would recommend that you get a USB IR tower as most computers have a USB port. Um, some people have tried the USB to serial uh, cable to interface with the original uh, serial tower. I'm not sure how well that's going to work for you, um, so I think it's better if you get the IR tower instead uh, that uses the USB. Next, you want to install Windows XP. I find that Windows XP is uh, very, very uh, works very, very well with the RIS 2.0 software. Because I'm using a Mac, I need to install VirtualBox first before I install Windows XP. Now, when you're installing VirtualBox, uh, you want to use version 5.2. I've had issues with version 6. And the link here shows you the YouTube video um, on how to install VirtualBox and Windows XP on your computer. Now, for Windows XP, you're on your own. It's best if you can get uh, a licensed copy. Um, I'm sure you can find uh, that on your own. Next, you want to install the RIS software. Uh, my thanks to Christoph Bartnek for his excellent tutorial. The link is given here on how to install Mindstorms on a modern computer. I pretty much follow his tutorial, uh, but um, there's some changes that I made. For instance, uh, I uh, installed a USB tower before I start the Robotics Invention System software. You can see that in the video. And once you've done everything, you'll find that it works very, very well. Here's the inventor bot, and here's a short video showing um, me uh, transferring the program and running the program on the inventor bot. Here's a program that uh, will enable you to use the bump sensors. You can see as you bump the wall, it just turns off and goes off in another direction. Like that. So it bumps the wall and goes off into another direction. 
And finally, here's the line follower program. You can see even though the set is old, it really works very well. So I hope uh, you find this tutorial useful and thanks very much for watching.